Um, Alright, so we're getting close. We are getting close. I just had a thought. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Normal, please. So we were on peaceful. But it's okay, because we like immediately slept the night away. So it's okay. When I was experimenting, I didn't want to have to deal with mobs, okay? Or night mobs, anyway. So there's a lot of fish over here. I did pull a you. I did pull a you. Um, although you you decided to just leave it that way, too. So, I mean, you know, at least I, I did. Hey, fluid cows. Hello. So we got molten glass and water. Okay. Um, I did try to limit these guys, um, and they do seem, oh, that horse is dying. I'm not going to get there in time. Uh, don't die. Don't die. Oh, I can't get up to you. No, you're going to die. How come you're still getting hurt? Oh. Wow, you didn't take that much damage from that, to be honest. We saved the horse, I guess. I don't know if we did or not, to be honest. He didn't really seem like he needed it. Um, alright, anyway. <laughs> what was I saying? Words. Um, oh yeah, the fluid cows. So I, I did some stuff in the configs to limit their spawn rates a bit. And also, um... Biomes of Plenty seems to kind of frick with them a little bit. So, like, they're spawning around this river because it's a vanilla biome. But they do seem to not spawn around some of the other biomes as much. I don't know. Also, I tried to make it so that only... Only rarely would we get, like, a decent one. What the frick is that? It's a giant... Dark spawn slime thing. Um, those animals in the pet shop are fine, shush. What is that thing? Not sure what that is. Um, only rarely would we find, like, an ore-related one, but, uh, we can commonly find water, uh, clay, things like that. So, the rest of them will have to actually spawn, uh, or breed the cows to get to, basically. Um, so yeah, that's something we'll worry about later. I'm real curious as to what this... Oh, he spawned in that stuff, which is not showing up on the... What am I looking at thing? I think it's tar. I think that's what that is. I don't know where he went either, which is concerning. Did I just see a villager? Is he the guy from the tent? Where did he go? Hello? Oh, there you are. Hi. Ouch. Oh, you're the, uh, you're the archaeologist. So yeah, you can come across these guys. Oh, it's an ant! Dude! Hello, Mr. Ant! How's it going, brother? What's up? He has a lot of health. Dude. So these guys are really cool. Sometimes they'll just, like, stop and they'll turn back into a tree. Um, they also will plant trees occasionally. They'll just put down saplings. Um... But, uh, but yeah, I like them. You don't, you don't like anything. I think they're cool. I'm also a Lord of the Rings nerd, so I'm excited about anything that's similar to, to that. Um, but yeah, so they, you'll occasionally find these little, um, tents that these archaeologist guys will set up. Uh, he's got a workbench and a sifter here. And a bed. Real tempted to just take these things. He says as he takes them um because that'll you know that'll help me out are we are we there yet um oh yeah we are here i just kind of went the wrong way is that an enderman that is an enderman all right i'm trying not to like spoil it too much but you've already gotten the idea that it's it's based around a mountain but it's really, really cool. I just kind of want to get to the spot so that you can kind of get up. Actually, I think we could get a decent view from right up here. 
It's a really cool spot. I think we can do some fun things with. All right, here's some, uh, some black bears, different from the other ones we've seen. What, what happened? Oh, you got stuck in the block too. Stop getting stuck in blocks, guys. <laughs> they seem to not get along with this coarse dirt. That seems to be what keeps happening. Mm -mm. All right, here it is. Voila. Look at that mountain. Look at that crazy naturally generated square cutout too. Like that is wild. So yeah, this is the mountain I saw and I decided I've got to do something with this. You're underwhelmed, I can tell already, Aaron. But um, it's just crazy. It's huge too. It goes way up there. There's a spire thing in the back and it wraps around over there and has this huge cutout. And I don't know. I just think we can do some really, really cool things with it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, eventually, eventually, are we going to do it right now? No. Uh, I have decided I am going to use this thing. I wonder if this thing has limited uses. Otherwise, that would be kind of overpowered, I feel. <laughs> There's a, I'm guessing, a leopard. <laughs> a cool modded thing. I mean, it is going to be a cool modded thing. Maybe it'll be our base station for um, our Galacticraft stuff. That could be cool, right? build a, a spaceship making factory in the middle we could put a stargate on it we could do all kinds of cool things um i should have uh made one of those what you call them those cow sticks what are they called cow cow halter um i should do that so that we can start collecting some of these cows we're gonna need uh, but we'll do that later. Hello, Mr. Snake, Mr. Big Snake. He's he's not happy. All right. Oh, here's a different uh, cow. Which one are you? Oh, the honey cow. Yeah, this is one of the ones that I decided could spawn normally. Um, I don't think honey's super useful. Uh, it could be used for some things, I guess. Um, but yeah, I didn't feel like making a recipe. It, so I just decided it could spawn in the world. <laughs> Not impressed. Well, Aaron, either way, you you have you have a lot to do with with uh, Chaos Craft Two and all that stuff. So I mean, you probably weren't gonna want to dive into this either way. But maybe, just maybe. Some of these people that are watching right now, whoever they might be, will be interested. Thank you, James. I will admit, though, I am really looking forward to Chaos Craft 2 because of the quest book. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun to have purpose. Every time we stream it, I'm gonna be like, okay, I want to work on this just so I can unlock that and blah blah blah. And it's gonna be neat. Um, this pack, it does have advancements, um, things definitely that we could do to just give ourselves some goals or whatever. Husbandry. Um, and more of them open up as you discover new things, but um, nothing's locked behind uh, things you have to do. Oh god! Oh god, no! Oh, that lion was not happy when I looked at him. <laughs> hey, it's a duck. Uh, oh God. Whoops. <laughs> you know, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I came very close to our first death in the dumbest way possible, but not freaking yet. 
<laughs> it's a derp goose, sort of. Yeah, probably soon. Um, oh, I think I see something over there that I want to show you guys, but I don't want to get too close. <laughs> this is something that Aaron definitely wouldn't want anything to do with. What are you? What? Molten tin. Oh, actually, that's a rare find. The ores are not super common. Um, yeah, that's something that uh, Aaron definitely wouldn't want anything to do with. But I'm gonna show it just so that I can, so I can give him a fright. You see that mole over there digging into the block? It's pretty funny. Oh, have you seen it before, Aaron? Couldn't remember if you'd seen this before. Hello. Oh God. Those things are called Shogalos. <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, those exist. <laughs> oh, man. Um, they, it is something we'll have to deal with. <laughs> it is something we'll have to deal with. We will have to kill a bunch of them in order to get... A thing so that we can unlock another thing it's part of the I believe the abyssal craft uh, mod and I believe that we can go to like a dimension another dimension be with that so yeah something to look forward to fighting loads of those things uh, we're gonna want to be prepared for that though we are definitely not prepared for anything like that a crystal hippo with tentacles and big teeth, and it shot slime balls. So yeah, basically, James, basically. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't really want to load up too much new terrain for fear it might lag. But I got to admit, this is running really well. Uh, there was a little lag in the beginning, but it's been running really well even, even running around this new area. So I'm happy. I'm really happy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. It does have limited use. Okay, I feel better about that. It looks like maybe 10 uses per recipe of it. And as we saw, whoops, what happened? There we go. As we saw, uh, it is a little expensive with a diamond. So yeah, I feel better about that. It's not an infinite use thing, so that's good. Um, you know, since we do have that and since it's going to be bringing us here... Maybe I should make our home shelter here. That way we don't have to hear all that noise, too. Um, yeah. Why don't we do that? Um, we don't have much in the way of materials. We could use acacia wood, I guess. Wouldn't be too bad. Um, hmm. So now what? Well, now we, we begin, man. It's, it's Minecraft. You do the things. You get the resources. We go caving. We get armor. And then we start planning the next great adventure, which honestly, um, we're gonna want stuff like the mechanism stuff and, and get farms going and get a steady food supply and all that. I wish I could remember exactly where I spawned. I think it was just like right here, ish. So I wanna try to encompass that if possible. I don't wanna use the thing again though. That feels wasteful. make ourselves a little bit of a lean to here just something to use for safety well uh, I guess we'll hmm I we'll want to flatten this out a little bit give ourselves some room to grow. Yes, Aaron, I do, but you know how it is, things take time, they don't just happen overnight. Things go faster on multiplayer servers because you have help, but when you're on your own, things take time. I'm 
Mut siis. Don't have a lot of wood left. Just wanted to just kind of secure this place. So that maybe we wouldn't feel the need to sleep through every night. We could maybe see some of the stuff that's going on at night. Um, for interest levels. People who want to know what the night is like in this pack. <clears throat> um, okay. Well, we need to chop down more trees. <laughs> Give me this. Yeah. Werewolf mans. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if they show up every night or if it's only on full moons. We'll find out, I guess. And there's other things, too. There are ogres. Ogres are scary because they can destroy blocks. You gotta be real careful of those guys. Um, there's fire ogres who can burn your house down if it's made of wood. So Probably not the best idea we ever had. But those things are also rare to appear, so we shouldn't have too much trouble with that. And if we put some torches around, hopefully they won't be too close to us. Yeah, I mean, Shrek, but not friendly. Like, at all. Alright, so. Let's do that. Um, we're just gonna close this off. Is this going to look like crap for a while? Yes. It, do I care? No. <laughs> it's fine. For a starter house, what more do we really need, you know? Um, we will put ourselves a little door. Right about here. Uh, workbench. And throw some doors down. Uh, we also have some cool building related mods. Uh, I hate it when it goes in like that. I am doing the door trick though so that zombies think the door is open and won't break it down. So there is that. Um, but we have stuff like block craftery which lets you do some fun stuff for builds and so many blocks that we can get throughout the world and through um different dimensions and yeah we're gonna have fun we are gonna have fun building some neat things uh, not the least of which will be a zoo trust me it's gonna happen will it take forever probably but will it happen eventually yes um, put that away, put these two things away. I can't wait to dive into the archaeology thing. Um, another thing we have is the, um, yeah, the Genetics Reborn. So I'm not a big fan of the morph mod and how you can gain flight from just killing, you know, a bat or a blaze or something like that. But... I do like this mod, and I started to mess around with it one time before, and uh, never really got too deep into it, so I'm going to have that for this mod pack, which basically enables you to be able to uh, splice DNA from different mobs to yourself and gain those abilities, so eventually we could get flight from that and all that. I'm not going to rush into it, but it's, it's a thing we could do, you know? That I think would be cool. Um, but of course, there's also jetpacks for flight. There's magical armor that gives you flight. There's a lot of different things we could do. And we will go down each and every road that entertains us. And it gives you guys, if you are playing... Oh, because I'm carrying the carrot. He was looking at me very intently. Are you guys, like, beached? Are you okay? What's going on? You good? Just kind of hanging out. Is this a pink dolphin? It is! It's a pink dolphin! 
I guess they're just hanging out. They just like it here. <laughs> um, I think you can tame the dolphins and they'll let you like ride on their backs in the water. I'm not sure, but I think that's a thing you can do. Um, but yeah, it, it gives a lot of different options for how you want to play the game. If you want to jump right into Project E and cheat in a bunch of stuff through EMC, you can do that. If you want to fly by splicing your DNA with a bat, you can do that. It's a lot of things. Um, so we want, obviously, can confirm, Doplahen is right. Um, we definitely want to get started on uh, mechanism as early as possible. Um, why are there balloons? I'm unsure. Um, it's going to enable us to get power and all that going early, which would be nice. Well, early, but I mean, it's it's more attainable than some forms of power. Um, and, you know, ore duplication and digital miner to get said ores faster and and all that um let's see I'm trying to see where is that thing am i blind i'm i must be blind digital my, there it is the old digital miner definitely a favorite of mine some people consider it a bit cheaty i will admit it's definitely a super easy way to get ores quickly I won't, I won't deny that. Let's go ahead and sleep. My throat is still not quite used to talking for long periods of time, but I am almost well and I am sick of not doing what I want to do. So that's why we're doing this tonight. Um, okay, so we have a home covering up our spawn we have a place to store some crap that isn't in the village i do need to get that stuff out of the village though but now i think it's time we start caving so that we can get you know get started we need we need to start thinking about getting some armor we need to start thinking about getting uh better tools we need to start thinking about getting the ores and resources we need to to get more things like for example one thing that we could work towards would be a pulverizer, which would enable us to double our ores. Or, if we wanted to go a different route, we could go Tinker's Construct and get the, uh, um, what you call it, the smeltery. The smeltery. Yeah, so we need seared bricks to get started on that. But, guess what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> There is a seared brick cow, and it does spawn in the world. Um, so we need to find that. <laughs> uh, that would be useful to us. We can make um, seared brick from grout, from clay and gravel, but finding a seared stone cow would be a lot better way to go about it, I feel. I mean, you do need some, because you need to at least be able to pump that cow into a basin, I guess. Um, so we're going to want to get some to get started anyway, but, but yeah, so I guess the, the route that we're going to go to start is probably tinkers just so that we can start duplicating our ores. And then we expand from that into faster things like the pulverizer and the mechanism stuff. And then we get going with that, but we need, we need to get going in general. Um, Let's see, how much of this stuff should we take? I guess we'll take like the valuable stuff. Food, ores, wood. Leave the seeds. I guess we'll take the feathers or some bread. How do you actually make this bread? No, hold on. Infected wheat works like the old wheat. Interesting. But, to make this bread, you need bakeware and dough, and then dough is flour, salt, mixing bowl, and water. Okay, all right, interesting. Uh, we'll take these things, and uh, actually, I'll take these saplings, too. It's probably not a terrible idea. 
We'll leave the rest of that for now. We'll come back for it later. Grab that. Um, okay, was there anything else here in this village to look at? We kind of breezed over that a bit, didn't we? Is there a house with... Oh, okay. So this is something I wanted to show off. I totally uh, almost forgot about it. So let's uh, let's take a few of these. Um, let's go here and pretty cool little mod that I added in here, the Akashic Tome. I need a book and a bookshelf. Okay. Um, let's do this. I'm not sure why that recipe wouldn't show up. Whoopsies. There we go. Oh, acacia bookshelf is different than an oak bookshelf. That's interesting, and I'm concerned that I then wouldn't be able to use it for that recipe. So let's actually, um, yeah, there's an oak tree here. Let's get some oak just to be on the safe side. Mr. Growly Panda Face over there, making all kinds of noise. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna make one of these for now. Put the rest back. Come on, come on. We're gonna take a book, and we're gonna take a bookshelf, and we're gonna make the Akashic Tome. Now, um, we already took, or those books are back the other place. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 let's run back. Um, but yeah, we should see if there's any other cool things around here. A whole bunch of dudes out there. Um, actually, does this village have one of the archaeology houses? Oh, it does. Oh, this is cool. So this is where the archaeologist has some extra stuff that we could uh, take advantage of. And also, he's dug down into some fossils as well, right out his back door. So yeah, we can take advantage of that ourselves. Kind of jumpstart our whole fossil collecting endeavors. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I needed coal, and there was some right on the other side of this mountain that we spawned next to. That is what you would expect, honestly. Need to be oblivious of that fact. <laughs> Alright, let's run over here. Let me show you how this Akash Tomb works. After I put away every freaking thing in the world that I got here. Do, 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 do. Okay, we do not have enough space for it all. So let's take all of these books that we got at the beginning. And any books that we get from now on. No, not that. We're gonna take it, we're gonna pop it in here, and we're gonna combine it. So we got the open computers manual. We got open blocks, materials new tinkers construct, uh, cyclic guidebook. And now you're like, well, okay, all those books are now gone, except we right click with it and all the books are here. And this will just expand as we add more and more books to it. So say we wanna read about uh, open blocks now oh it became the open blocks book cool we can read all about open blocks and all the stuff that it does but where's our akashic tome you might ask shift left click and boom it's an akashic tome again so yeah that's a great way of cutting down on all of these books that you get the manuals and all um, along the way pretty darn nice uh let's uh Pop this stuff in here. Okay, and I guess we'll uh, we'll make ourselves a. Oh, I forgot that it happened. It really does do that, doesn't it? It makes chests of those uh, different colored woods, and then it wouldn't connect to this. So it's like, well, I guess I'm out of luck. All right. Um. We'll keep the shears on us. We'll put this away. That's that's good though. It's a cool find. 
Um, what don't we need? I guess the wool. Well, we'll keep three on us in case we go exploring. Uh, put that away, put that away, put that away, put that away, put that away. All right. And this. Cool. Arrange that, and yeah. All right. So basically, we're at that crucial point where we say, now what? And I think the best thing we do now is Tinker's Construct, because it's going to enable us to, you know, get started in doubling ores. Uh, caving would also be a good first step because, you know, we'd be working towards better tools and armor, but we'd be wasting some ores. Like, the sooner we could do this, the better. So let's look at grout. <laughs> I am grout, it says. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to make this, apparently. But uh, I believe it's just gravel, sand, and clay. There's different recipes for it. I don't know. I don't know if you get more out of it or not. What What's happening here? The boar is killing the crab. The boar is killing the crab. The crab is fighting back, but the boar won. I'll take that. Crab leg. Cool. Um, okay. <laughs> so that's a thing. Um, but yeah, so we need sand, gravel, and clay. Now, I don't know how much clay we're going to find here. We might need to go over to where the river was. There may be some clay. Is there clay in the oceans? I don't think there is. I think it's like... What is this? Salt? Yeah, salt... Uh, gravel and sand, but we do need gravel and sand, so I guess we could just uh, grab some of it from here. Hello, Mr. Dolphin. We'll take a chance, we'll do this. That broke our shovel. You know, bay mining's good, but it's annoying when you break your stuff and you don't have a backup ready to go. Okay. A little hide in here. Oh yeah, it's gonna be night. We could actually see what night is like, I guess. We might as well, huh? It could be terrible. It could be ter what am I doing? It could be terrible, but uh, we're not gonna know until we try. Alright, we got 64 gravel. We also got 6 flint, which is good. Crab leg up. Um, actually, you know what? No, I can't do this. I can't do this yet. I need to make sure the village is, is well lit because otherwise we'll lose all of our villager friends if I let that happen. So we can't experience night yet. <laughs> the village is too valuable to us because we might need to trade with the archaeologist guy and people like that, so... No, no, uh, no monsters yet, but soon, but soon. Um, okay, so let me get, let me get some sand. I think I'll just do that from right here. Probably be fine. Um, that didn't quite do what I wanted it to. Wait, what? Why you know vein mine? I vein mine the gravel. Does it not work with sand? Oh, uh, wait. I remember having this issue before. Um, block list, gravel and clay, but sand is not here. And I don't know, I think we have to relaunch the pack before that comes into effect. Yeah, we do. Oh, well, we'll just dig this up the old-fashioned way. 